So this is a quick little video overviewing the installation process of a Joomla site on a local server. So here I am using MAMP and this is on a Mac. So it's slightly different when you're switching over to a PC, you'll probably be using something like WAMP instead. And I'll detail this in the show notes so you can find out more about how to install WAMP or MAMP onto your computer before you start this installation process. So once you've finished installing MAMP on your computer, you'll get this uh, configuration screen, which is basically the server setup that's on your local host. So here it's got the root username, the username which is root and the password which is root. So that's really important to note because when you're installing your Joomla sites, you would need those details. So first off, before I install Joomla on this site, on this uh, local host, I will need to first set up a database. Now MAMP comes with PHP My Admin, which allows you to do this. So I'll just open this up in a new tab and navigate over here. I can just click on the little new link in the left hand side and I'll create a new database name. And I'll just call this one Joomla. Hit the create button and that's it. I can see my database there and that's all I need to do to create a new database. Remember the username and password are set here and it's both root and root for both username and password. Cool. So now I have a Joomla uh, configuration, a Joomla installation, which has already been unzipped and set up in a folder. I'll just show you where I've done this. So here I've got the zip file or the, where is it? There's a zip file of my Joomla uh, site, which I downloaded from joomla.org and I've unzipped it to this particular folder called Joomla. Now the particular location for this is also defined within your MAMP configuration and when you install MAMP it will tell you where those particular files are supposed to be stored. Now I've configured mine slightly differently so that I could store my installation and synchronize it with my Dropbox. So I can browse into my Dropbox, into my work folder and then into my Joomla folder and there I can see all of my uh, files that are uh, controlling and installing my Joomla site. Now this is all synchronizing my Dropbox and that way when I go to the office, I can also have a synchronized version of this website, which is really, really cool. All right, so now I've unzipped it and I've placed it into the folder called Joomla. I can browse to my local host, type in the folder name there, Joomla, and it will take me to this installation process. Now this is a new installation process that comes with Joomla 3 and it is really neat and very, very tidy. It has the option here to choose different languages depending on what uh, what is your native language. So here I can switch over to Thai, for example, and we'll load up the Thai language pack. So if that's your native language, you can easily switch over. And as you can see, there's a multitude of languages here, all preset and uh, gets shipped out with Joomla. So it's a very, very internationalized installation itself. And I'll just switch back to English, English Australian. And I'll just fill in these form details here so I can start the process. So site name, I'll just call this Joomla. Description, I won't put a description in there. I'll just leave it blank. The admin email, I'll just type in my email address. I'll just copy this one here. Admin username. Now, because this is local, I'll just keep it admin, but it's a really good idea not to have your username as admin. And I'm going to make the password password. And again, it's not a good idea to have the username and password combination admin password. It's very common, very easy to hack. Now, when I uh, load up this site, I can have an option here to have this site offline. In this case, I'll have it online, so I'll keep that as a no. Then I'll hit next. All right, now these, these are the database details, which I mentioned a little bit earlier. So back from my map, I can see it's root root. So I'll go through here and start filling in these little bits of information. If you have the choice to use the database type MySQLi, that is the preferred method of a preferred database. It's a MySQL improved and it is a little bit better than the regular MySQL. So if you do have the option, make sure you choose that. Host name is localhost. It usually always is localhost unless you have a special uh, database server that is set up and in most cases you won't. So I'll type in the username here and I'll also put the password root and root. Cool. Now the database name, this is what I set up earlier in PHP my admin 
and I called it Joomla. So I'll go back to my installer, type in Joomla. Table prefix, I can just leave as is. And old database process, I don't need to worry about, but keeping it as backup is always a good idea. Great, so I can hit next now and it will install the database process. So here I have some da uh, sample data sets that I can store with my new installation of Joomla. Now, depending on how you're going to use your website, you have a whole bunch of different options here. I'm going to choose the blog layout, so the blog type of content and sample data so to get me up and running with a blog straight away. So I'm going to choose blog. Do I want the configuration of the site emailed? Probably no in this case. And now it's telling me the configuration, how I've set things up, the username, passwords, and everything else. It does a last minute pre-installation check. And as of Joomla 3.2.3, the minimum PHP requirement is now 5.3.1. You'll find on most, if not all, modern web hosts that that uh, will be even higher than that. So your, your, your PHP configuration should be a lot higher than that. I'm running PHP 5.4, I think, off the top of my head, uh, when installing this on MAMP. Okay, so let's hit the install button now and let Joomla do its installation and installing, and that is it. So congratulations, Joomla is now installed. So I'll just remove the installation folder now so I can get into the back end of the website. Great, that's done. And I'll hit the administrator button here. So it will take me to the back end of the site. I'll type in my username and password. And I'm in. I'm in. That's it. That's that's the whole installation process of Joomla on a local host. Now let's get some content onto the site. Now let's have a look at the front end. It's pretty plain and simple. We've got a welcome to your blog, written by Joomla, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So let's get another piece of content loading on the front page of the website here. So I'll go to content, article manager, and I should be able to see some of the other content here. So I can see welcome to your blog, and it's in the category blog. Great, that's a really good start. Okay, so let's hit on new in the top left-hand corner. And let's write in a new blog post. This is my new blog post on my new Joomla site. I'll put in some copy. This is some test copy for my very first post. Great. Now on the right hand side here, I'll choose the category. I'll put it into the blog category. I'll tag this up as well, and in later video tutorials, I'll show you really, really good and intuitive ways of using the tags. So I'll just tag this up as blog, and maybe first. Great. I want it published, and version note, I'll just put version 1. Great. Save and close. Now let's have a look if that's appeared on the home page of my website. I'll just hit the refresh button. And there it is. This is my new blog post on my new Joomla site. Let's click on that and have a look at it. Fantastic. I can see my tags come up and the test copy. And that is it. That's all you need to do to get started with Joomla and start posting uh, your own content within your own website. Of course, there's a whole bunch more to this, in t including uh, customizing the layout, the look and feel, inserting images and a whole lot more. But you can see how easy it is to get up and running with a Joomla blog uh, within a few minutes. Okay, thank you. And make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel at the uh, Joomla Beat website at joomlabe.at. And there you'll be able to get a whole bunch more resources. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And uh, until next time, thanks.